Hey guys, my name is Chris, and I'm Die Miami Die. So the name, uh, that's the question that I get from everyone. I don't hate Miami, on the contrary, I love it. It's really a wonderful city. As far as the name, it just kind of sounded badass. If I had to describe my music to someone who's ever heard it before, it'd be a little tough. I have so many different styles and genres that kind of marry together to create a unique sound. But not a sound that's so unique that I'm losing my identity as an artist. The two types of genres that I give for my music are Groove Wave and Rave Wave. My first single, Silent Sirens, I think is a perfect example of what Groove Wave is. Groove Wave, it has that retro analogy sound, but it's super dancey. Rave Wave is more like Trash TV. Trash TV has this very synthy kind of sound, and the, then there's that build up and the drop hits, and it's hard. Something that you'd hear in an EDM track. I think what separates me from some artists today is my passion for sound design. I love sound design. It has a certain feel, and that feel is what translates through these songs. I'm really trying to capture the essence of Miami, of a retro Miami. Imagine you brought the contemporary Miami to that era. And that's kind of the feel that I'm really trying to capture with If you listen to my music, the biggest influence that you're going to hear in there is Oliver. The future and evolution of Die Miami Die is really going to be based on the fans and the audience. I'm going to be releasing singles roughly every month. I think the single format really is going to help guide the music because I'm going to be able to see which songs in particular people really love and I think it's going to evolve in an interesting way. Thank you.